your first credited acting role was in 1986. We were just three years old, not aging ourselves, playing Ken Corb in the made-for-TV movie, A Case of Deadly Force. But we assume this wasn't your first time acting. Can you tell us about when the spark happened for you and what the journey was like leading you into your first paid job? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out <laughs> okay. on there and say that was Cobra. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It, it, it is actually, that movie is based on a, a real uh, story. Um, and it was a guy named Ken Cobra, by the way, uh, who, who wrote for the Boston Phoenix, or he was a photographer for the Boston Phoenix. Um, but anyway, uh, I digress. My, my <laughs> first um, uh, spark, it, it, um, it, it came, of course, you know, like all of us at a very young age. My mother was an actor when I was a kid. And uh, she was in a play called The Gazebo. And uh, my father was a drummer. He was a musician. He was from London, from England, and had a very strong accent, taught like this. He was sort of working class British, you know. So we were going to go see my mum's show together. And, of course, we were going to be seated right down in the front so we could see it. So we go and, and we get there. But one of the actors who had a very small part at the end, was supposed to play a Brooklyn cop in this play, didn't show up and they didn't have an understudy. So my mother said, well, my husband is a drummer. He's used to performance. He's not an actor, but he could just walk on and do, he, he only had a couple of lines. He had to say, I'll take that and that. That was his line. And it was a like surprise entrance that this cop makes at the end. So my mother says, you know, Ken, he's four years old, but he's been to a million rehearsals. He's seen shows so many times, you know, he'll be fine. Just put him in the front row all by himself and he'll be good. So she puts me in the front row. The play starts. My mother comes out, sits on this other man's lap, flirts with him, kisses him. I stand up, point at her and go, that's my mother. And I'm telling my father. And I stormed out of the theater to wild applause and laughter. And I was like, oh, man, what just happened? And, of course, the other thing is my father tried to upstage me at the end of the play when he walked on because he entered the stage too early. And suddenly there's these two guys trying to dig up money at the end. And the Brooklyn cop who's not supposed to arrive for another five minutes is suddenly standing on stage <laughs> trying to look invisible. And he got the second best laugh of the night. But as soon as this Brooklyn cop opened his, his mouth and, and said, I'll take that and that, he got applause. So I was like, this is the coolest thing in the world to do. And so that was the earliest spark, I would say, is there. That is the coolest. How did you get into acting story? I think we've ever heard. Yeah. That's my, you, yeah. I don't know if you know this. We have a store here where we make shirts from when our guests come on from things they say, and you just became a shirt. That's my mom. And I'm, I'm telling my father, my father, my father <laughs> just right. became a shirt. Awesome sauce, man. Awesome. <laughs> Um, that, did your did your mom explain to you what was happening <laughs> after the fact? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And and you know, I saw her in a million shows later, and 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 just <laughs> always thought it was the coolest thing in the world. So I was one of these kids that when I would go to a friend's house, you know, like um, I you know, you get that age as a kid where you start to go and stay overnight at a friend's house or you have dinner at their house, you know. And uh, I was always perplexed that other kids' families did not suddenly break into song and dance around the kitchen. They didn't, you know, throw costumes on and run around. I thought everybody's family did that stuff. And uh, no, it wasn't true. So it was, uh, it was kind of a weird world to live in as a kid, but uh, it's now paid off. Yes. Yeah. I'd say I, I sincerely hope that that is that that that's the answer isn't the lie. <laughs> the first one. Oh, that better not be. You can't start. Okay. Yeah.